From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America as we start day two here at Seminole Hard Rock. That's Joe Stapleton and I'm Chris Hansen. Coming up in this episode, Vanessa Russo makes her Poker Night in America debut. Does she know I'm hosting this show? Um, probably not. Why? Well, this is the last time I saw her. I asked her out and I did it through her assistant and I never heard back and that was like three years ago and I haven't seen her since. Well, enjoy Vanessa's presence until she finds out that you know who is here. Let's get to the table. <laughs> Here's who starts our second day at Seminole Hard Rock. Uh, Phil Locke, again, it wouldn't be Phil Locke without an unusual buy-in of $18,475. Thanks for that, Phil. That's because he's using interdimensional credits and the exchange rate's weird. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi. What are you that? talking about? We've learned about spaceship Enablement, dude. Yeah, enablement. Spaceship. Clock. <laughs> Something like that. Right. America, say hello to Glenn Beebe, making it 350 with pocket fours. Sorry, Chris, not Glenn, which would be normal. Glenn. 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 Oh, I thought that was a typo. G Lynn. All right, fair enough. I got enough sleep. You're not taking it? Chair Jaffe hits his deuce, but it ain't good enough to crack those fours. We do some kind of wager. He gets a guess to find out who was up the earliest at this table. Up the I, already said, I already said I had 2 to 10. I already said. If I, you were, oh, you were up at 10 a.m.? I went to bed at 2, got up at 10, 8 hours, yeah, everything's that's normal. Like, but, so I already gouged yeah. my position. I can't be involved. And yeah. Jared's going to peel one. You've gouged your position. Yep. Unfair advantage. Okay, then fine. Let's do a turn. Aha! Jaffe picks up a flush draw. Some people were up late winning poker tournaments. Some people were up late probably partying in South Beach. Look at Alan Richardson's smile. He definitely was partying in South Beach. <laughs> See, I did North Beach, not the same. <laughs> not the good, not I, the good one. I, I, my, I'm not very good directional. It's kind of like going to old York City instead of New York City. Uh, the, the pleasure of waking up, opening my door to my room to walk down and get my coffee at the coffee shop and seeing Mr. Phil Locke without his shirt on in the hallway checking his breakfast <laughs> from room service. Oh, getting the breakfast to bring it in? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you were just leaving that. Day. <laughs> I was leaving. That was, that was my wake-up call with uh, going to get my morning coffee. And I, my senses were awakened, and I was didn't need the coffee anymore. No, I didn't it. think I was going to meet anybody in the hallway. Was gonna, <laughs> it was an eight-second interlude in the hallway. <laughs> Couldn't find a bathroom or anything. <laughs> hey, sometimes interdimensional travel loses your luggage. Does he bluff a lot, Phil? And BB uh, folds. <laughs> he, he, whatever he's doing, it's GTO. That's accurate, and that's the young kids when they say GTO. What does that mean? Game theory optimal. That's like having one of those cards in blackjack that tells you what to do in your brain. I don't think there's anyone who's ever been accused of playing less GTO poker than me. <laughs> like, he instantly laughs. <laughs> yeah, Jared Jaffe's more of a GTFO player. What do you think about and East the Beach? World of poker, <laughs> I don't know. Right it's really dangerous right now because of the war with West Beach. I mean, if you think about it, East Beach is right next to South Beach. It's, anyway. We'll just do the whole circle. The straddle is on and so are the goggles, which, by the way, they do nothing. Phil Locke raises with Jack three of diamonds. Phil Locke is not a GTO player. He's more of a UFO player. Wide open. Schwartz calls. Richardson calls. Three players to the flop. They're in the middle of the sandwich, buddy. Yeah, we got the sandwich. Yeah. The island sandwich. Lock catches good. And he probably would have bet a lot of flops with a pair already, but he might just want to set his portal gun for Fifth Street to get to a cheap showdown. Richardson bets 700. A rapid call from Lock. Bring the river, it's a 10. There's very little chance Phil could fold out better here, so he should probably just take a showdown value. That's everything? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's the rocket ignition. <laughs> oh. Oh! 
Oh, oh, sorry. My word. Excuse me, I meant that Phil couldn't fold out better with like a normal human bluff. But if you're gonna make a crazy suicidal space kamikaze bluff, this could actually work. Much like that kid that tries to skateboard down the railing, do not try this at home. <laughs> Pay one dollar for the left. I mean, I'm not a pro, but is that GTO to overshove? <laughs> I'm uh, working on my I game. Know. I don't I'm know. Not Jared on the GTO. Huh? I don't know. Is that? I mean, I either have quads or air, right? I have to say, I watched some of the stream I'm, I'm yesterday. I enjoyed uh, Seagull's Seagull's right table talk to Dentali a lot. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Affleck, thank you very much for the nice segue. A lot of the events on Poker Night in America you can watch happen as they go down on Twitch. I'm only on the TV shows, guys, so you can either just watch those or avoid them like the plague, depending on how you feel. Got a raise here from Jared. Don't call me Jonathan Jaffe. Seagull bets basically with the nuts on the turn, and Dentali's in the tank, and he knows Dentali has nothing. Dentali has seven high, and he tanks for four minutes acting like he's going to check raise. And Seagull the whole time's like, we know you're not going to do it. Just fold now. <laughs> this happened like two or three times. Lock calls. And it is Domination Nation. Flop is King High, brought to you by Kimosabi. Bill did not need to improve, but top pair second kicker is always nice. 225 from Jaffe and a call from Locke. Ah, Jaffe picks up a bunch of outs on the turn, straight and flush draws. I love picking up outs. It's like finding out you might be having another birthday. It truly is magical. <laughs> but then again, you might not. Could be a birthday that everyone forgets. <laughs> 600 was the bet and a call from Locke. So here comes the river. And Jaffe gets there oh, hard. Yes. To check, right? Yes, sir. There actually is no coffee in that cup that Phil <laughs> is drinking. Just keep looking cool. Wouldn't surprise me if Phil were sipping on some dark matter. 1,600 the bet from Jaffe. <sighs> I guess I can beat a bluff pretty easily. I, this, the analysis came in. It's <laughs> probably a bad call. You're I mean, sharing <laughs> all your pro analysis in your head out. Yep. Because I've decided I'm never raising at 0%. I guess the funny thing is if I had his hand and if I had air, I definitely would love the ace of clubs. I would love to see an ace of clubs if I had air and I was Jared Jaffe. Which is why I could put it in. Oh. But I'm only beating the bluff. But I never let you knew. Well, I was calling. I guess you kind of knew. Hmm. Bill calls. Oh. He's really going with that fake cup of coffee there. He's really mm. getting after it there. <laughs> we got to take a quick break on Poker Night in America, but please don't run away like all the others. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, where Noah Schwartz has just added another 10K, and we are ready to get underway. To play today, okay? Okay, I get it, thanks. I wrote the line for him anyway, it's not really fair. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was the yeah, best yeah, case scenario. You're happy? You know, I wouldn't be happy. I want you to have 810. I mean, whatever. Yeah, sure. That would have been great, too. But Great. Could have been worse. Yeah, it could always could be definitely, worse. Definitely have been worse. Get yeah, your legs chopped off by a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be more grinded and long. And you're endure. a sick person. You know, chainsaw is going to cut. But the, the, the yeah, lawnmower is going to just, yeah. just wrangle them and yeah. make a mess of it. And might not get to the fever. You the, the, it might, no. not, it might have some. Oh, boy. Your bones might win in that chop war. Yeah. You have to go straight to a. A butter knife. In Alaska, a butter knife is a chainsaw. Yeah. That's, I learned player. from watching the no, you have to get outdoor the, no, Alaska no, no. show. The Samoan butter mm -hmm. knives are way better. Oh, sevens. How easily outflopped art thee? Seven. Seven hundred. Schwartz bet 700. Over to Mr. Beebe. Pretty easy fold. Mm. 
Come back to Jaffe. Nice try, Noah Schwartz. I see your Schwartz is bigger than mine. <laughs> Queen of diamonds on the turn. This board just keeps getting jaffier. He's got the nut flush draw now. He's got a royal flush draw to be completely accurate. And again, I like the idea of this double barrel, but I think when Noah gets called here, he's going to wave the white flag. Rousseau had king 10 for a straight, no, king. Call? Yeah. All right, here we go to the river. Some gutter ball -y card came. No, we had open ender on the flop, but close. Another 10. So it's queen jack on the flop, maybe. King 10, and then some card came in nine or an ace. I don't know what happened. But they both had a straight, and the board paired. Didn't matter, they both had a straight. What is this, though? The, the lock recap? Schwartz has given it his all here to try to get Jaffe to fold. So far, none of it has worked. It's the biggest part of the night. It was. It's a big waste of time, though. It was exciting. It was exciting. Yeah, I was excited no, for that. Noah time. and Jared are trying yeah. to. At which point? Yeah, damn it. it Such a big turn for me, too. When you said nice head. Big and bad at the same time. This is actually yeah. not a terrible card for Noah to try to bluff one final time. Jaffe's not calling twice with a 10 in his hand. He's either going to have a jack or diamonds most of the time. 3,100 is the bet. Oh, no. It's a tough call with a jack. I someday I figured out how to play poker. Like Noah Schwartz looks like the kind of guy that on the golf course I would lose all of my money to. <laughs> I could go and start Golf earning, shark. You know, right. instead of making Jared Jaffe looks like a guy that at a poker table I would lose all my money to. <laughs> and then he would tell me he's going to go buy more hats with random cities on them. <laughs> like he'd get one that just says Toledo, just to show me up. Just to waste your money. Yep. I like pretty much never fold this hand. I like how he fucking do it like that in the first <sighs> Something. These kids, they got a lot of stuff going on. You gotta look them into webs. No. Jaffe says goodbye. And Noah Schwartz well, made it happen. Queen's full. Queen's full. Really nice hand, Noah. What's also, the loser of this pot has to take off their gray sweatshirt. Ace of diamonds, right? Ace okay. of Looked like the ace of diamonds. Oh. oh. If he had the ace of diamonds, I'd get my money back. Ace. Man, everybody at this wow. table is wearing gray. Ace it's like they all dressed crazy. during communism. Ace of spades. Look at that. Noah oh, had little, he did not have two diamonds. Spades. There you go, man. And he did not have a fully popo. You know what we should do when Matt gets back? If there's enough. Continuing to wait for Vanessa Russo to please play a hand. <laughs> make, alter the structure, making it 2550 and 200 dark dead from the big blind. If. It's folded even, around to Alan Richardson on the button. He makes it 200. Okay. This cool. structure change that Phil Locke is proposing right now, sounds like it's going to heavily yeah, favor want, Phil Locke. I want what the group I'm wants. I'm also open uh, to doing I'm a PLO just, flip like every the time they switch the deal. No, I don't like 500. that because it just sucks the time out Richardson of Richardson open-ended. Phil Locke 500. with a gutter ball and king high. And just like Staples at the bowling alley, the gutter comes into play. Uh, excuse me, I was actually scouted by colleges for bowling. Thank you. Why, well, they need someone to wax the lanes? Or? <laughs> I know I don't look like a jock, but I was team captain. Or were they looking for a ball cleaner? Is that is that what it was? Check these out. They're sparkling. Hey oh. How much is it? Lock raises and Richardson raises back. This is a weird raise. I mean, Lock's got the second nuts. Like how much you checking in? What's the feed here? Never a good time to raise when your opponent has the second nuts. He's Phil folds, him. what? Was I happy not to have a ten or yeah, do I wish I had a ten? I probably wish I had a ten. Two minutes after two, you'll know. Thank you, Poker Gods, for these grains of equity goblets that I received from the thing. And you're supposed to treat them preciously, but so sometimes you collect them and you don't you want to spill them and throw them around, you know? Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi. Straddles on, Bill Locke in for 100 dark. We should do an entire episode where the camera is covered up by his goggles. <laughs> and we can pretend that we're him the entire time. I can't read the matrix. Would that work? I want to do whatever's fair. So the augmented glasses, I don't think sometimes I they do you just not do it. Yeah, I don't feel like I can reach into his fair pile fair. of Cheerios fair and take fair, Cheerios dude. out and put it in my bowl. It doesn't feel right. His pile of Cheerios. 
It doesn't feel natural. So a guy like you, bro, whatever whatever you want to do pertaining to that particular situation. I, think, I can see Noah eating yeah. Cheerios. I, I think feel, if it's I a chop, Jerry is more of a Lucky Charms type I'm of guy. I'm Fruity though. Pebbles type of Look, guy. Look, I feel like if it's a chop, you should just keep it because it's up to me to see and yeah, to turn I'm, my hand over. That's what it feels like, the rules. Yeah, I mean, so, I think it should be like that. Yeah, but. that's what it feels like, too. That's this where we're going to go. This the first family pot? No, yeah, we're missing one fish. Oh Just like my family with Noah Schwartz playing the role of my dad. The only hand he's folded. He's not there. <laughs> Phil Lock flops trip fives. What a lockbox. And these two guys with tens both have no outs. Bet from Glenn of 600 is getting people to fold left and right, and now we're down to the other pair of 10s from Alan Richardson. And this is amazing. When Phil check calls, though, he's only ever going to have a queen or a five. These guys should be paying attention to that, but I know it's kind of hard when your opponent is wearing the headgear of an interdimensional snowboarding cyclops. Three checks, we river. Richardson is thinking about it. Not a good spot for a value bet. Sometimes you can pick off a bluff, but that's ah, about it. There you go, good check. 3,600 in the middle, and Phil bets 2,375. This bet just reeks of strength. Quinn BB fold. Fold like Phil folds the space-time continuum when he fires up his dark matter motorcycle. Richardson with his tens does call. Yuck. And that is a big pop for Phil Locke, who's now playing the role of my brother. Shows up to a family function just so he can leave with all the money. That's how you play four or five. You got lucky. We're about to find out. Whoa, whoa, Mike, back yeah, it easy, up, back easy. it up. Whoa, whoa, in, whoa shut it down, Mike, shut it down. <coughs> oh. oh, now we've lost picture. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> and we're back. I thought we were done there for a second. It's gross, it's gross. My goodness. Oh, not net. Right, I meant. Did that feel like we were flying? <laughs> it kind of did. I feel weird inside. I'm going to go 3.4. OK. Phil Locke limping in with Jack-10 so he can see this flop for cheap. He'll call most raises. <laughs> He's terrible. He's won nothing. 1.4? <laughs> Something like that. Can we do, like, my, like, Skolansky dollars or whatever they call it online? You're a huge disappointment. <laughs> that is crazy. We were way out. Like, yeah. We got to start three and four bet no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What he's doing. We're going to be more aggressive with you, Matt. <laughs> I thought that, the, okay, now the picture, what is going on? Wow, so Schwartz <laughs> raises to 325. <laughs> Alan Richardson three bets to 850. <laughs> Bill cannot call with Jack 10 for 800. I have the nuts, too. Look at this short. hand. Look at how tight I'm playing. Look, I'm folding. I fold. But I just want credit for how tight I'm folding. Look at that. Now I get credit. He gets credit. Vanessa. Credit. I'm just gonna knit it up. Phil, let's see if you're selling yourself knit. short. What did you put your number at? What did you put your number at? I thought 4.2 for him. Though. And you unlike the last oh, pot, the Schwartz oh, is with us. Oh, kind of a loose call out of position, if I'm honest. It's between 3 and 3.5, if I had to guess. Pretty stolidly, I think it's in there. Let's find out. To figure out who you are. Noah hits a pair, but it's not as good as Richardson's. Which, and I'm pretty sure I might be minus two. <laughs> 700, the bet from Richardson over to Schwartz. After like calling that pre-flop three bet, to get nine. Noah's I not folding a pair. I did that four Hey, the Schwartz be with you! Four tries. How many were you in here? 14K, right? Four, four, four bullets, four bullets. Four tries, I, yeah. And 14 two. grand and buy. Yeah, four bullets, I beat you. With number of bullets? Yeah. Oh, it can on. be done. You're welcome, Derek. Uh, Schwartz goes from dog to top dog on the turn. Richardson does not bet it, so we go to the river. So the first one was, that was so like quick. 20 minutes left in the day. We almost yeah. got you through on one. I'm a disgrace. <laughs> I'm so bad. I was worried I was going to be firing mobile. 3.37, 3. Phil. You're okay. right there. You know. know. You look at your page every day, don't you? No. I every have day. to look about every four months because I cash very infrequently. So Richardson is going to be more like poor Ernson after this hand. Yeah. 
<laughs> How many hits? Like 2,300. <laughs> There's the bad from Noah Schwartz. Hendon Mob, when you go to the front page of Hendon Mob, it always updates the top 10 most searched players. Really? And Phil, Phil searches himself a bunch of times. and calls. I hired, a, I, I hired a team of hired Chinese someone. robot manu manufacturers. He, out, he outsources to China. To, it's so yeah. smart. You get all those sponsorship deals just, you know, just by clicking your own head. By the way, I saw that a long time ago, and I remember thinking specifically this thought, Matt. Oh, somebody has to be, because there was like a guy in 14th, never heard of him. Then I looked him up and I was like, I wonder if he's paying the programmers. Yeah, That's what I was thinking, because I'd never heard of him. Gonna power up the, the goggles here. Get me some. <laughs> you gotta get the juice. <laughs> what the hell is that? Do we have TSA? Do we have security outside? Or is it, did this go through a metal detector? <laughs> Sometimes I felt like I couldn't lose. Wow. That's what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. <laughs> well said. Who, who's the force and who's the object? It doesn't matter. It's just the, you know, they both, both properties retained. Thank you, Poker Gods, for this grains of equity goblets that I've received from the thing. And you're supposed to treat them preciously, but so, sometimes you collect them and you don't, you want to spill them and throw them around, you know? Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Hello. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. I'm Joe Stapleton. He's Chris Hansen. Are we doing the high voice thing? Where are we going to go with that? Okay. Let's see the chip counts. This is my normal voice, Chris. Counts. How did Vanessa Russo win $4,700? Oh, that, oh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, Chris, it's editing. No one's hurting too bad just yet, but don't worry, there'll be plenty more time for pain. Well, it looks like we had another great night of poker, don't you think, Stapes? Absolutely, Chris, and next week we continue the action from our second day of filming at the Seminole Hard Rock in Florida, and I'm guessing you won't be there for that either, will you, Dad? Do you need a hug, man? Yeah, like, seriously. When we're done with this, I'm giving you, like, the world's biggest hug. For more from Poker Night, I mean that, in America, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. Thanks for watching Poker Night in America. Mm, feels right. The game theoreticians would not like this check, but I'm not here to please the game theoreticians. If I knew it would work, I would do it. I would bet this much, but I'm gonna check instead I check. But if I knew it would work. Sticky opponents.